Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Fable. I will be playing your lovely little accountant named Bob, and with me today is... What's up? I'm Mira. I'll be playing Sammy Jax, your local rainbow boy. <laughs> He's a good rainbow boy, and we waited too long for these two to have an FPS, I think, methinks. Mood, mood. I am so excited for this. <laughs> but, but, to, and, but to be fair, these two didn't really have, when these two, when we first brought our characters into Toon Kind, they didn't really have any connections to meet. But now, not only do they have mm -hmm. one connection, but they've got two. Rather colorful Ooh. rainbow connection. <laughs> a goddess. Well, by... actually, they have three. They have three because there's Sandy, there's Gil, and then there's the third. Oh yeah. Well, speaking of the third, uh, if anyone listened to the FPS between Bob and a certain colorful god named Prismatone, uh, actually, say I will let Mira. I will let you. I'll let you explain because Prismatone's a lot more closer to your character than Bob. Yep. Uh, Prismatone is the deity of soul and characterization, and she talked to Bob about a certain upstart, we shall say, <laughs> and they had a great bonding time, and basically Bob walked away with the knowledge of, oh hey, maybe there is actually a few deities out there that aren't assholes. One or two. At the very least, there's one that's nice. Yep. And also, the gardens are packing a mess. <laughs> yeah, how does Sammy- how does- how does Sammy come upon the- does he just happen upon it, like, during a walk or something? Yep, he- I, like I've mentioned before, he does wander quite a bit, and he wanders quite a bit around Toontown, and he honestly has a habit of stumbling upon Prismatone's little shrines around town, and his reaction is exactly the same. Nope, 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 nope. This is a disaster. Oh, where is my, where is my spade? Where is my shovel? We are going to get this fixed. <laughs> Say, why, why aren't you a gardener? What, why isn't that your job? I feel like you can make good money off that. <laughs> because he hasn't heard anybody tell him that. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll see about we'll see about that in a, in a couple minutes. So I imagine it's probably like mid, uh, probably midday, probably around lunchtime or something. Yep. Uh, it's midday. Yeah. Probably on a weekend. But like, all right. Not a lot of people visit this part of the park. Not a lot. There are two people who are who are making their way over though. I don't know which part of the garden Sammy is in. I think Bob has managed to get close enough to uh, that he's let Rad run ahead to go into the temple and go say hi to Prismatone if she's there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to um, roll Perception to see if Bob's even seen. Yeah, I was about to say. What am I doing? It's D&D. &D. We make roll We make rolls with a dice. Mm -hmm. Though in our case, we just have a dice parser on Discord that makes it so much easier. And it also does math for us, which is also super nice. Because I hate mm -hmm. it. Because peck math. <laughs> or at least peck doing it in your head. That sucks. Okay, okay. yeah. I got 21, you got 18. I'd say you <laughs> I think they spot they, each they other. They both notice each other. They, they both notice each other. Um, they just zero in on each Bob. other. Bob. You see a tune who is in gray, um, very gray overtones with the edging of the, his sleeves um, in rainbow. And he is currently kind of, his hands are coated in dirt. There's like leaves in his rainbow, long curly rainbow hair. And he's staring wide eyed at you. And his, there's a bit of cloth that's wrapped around his neck, and his mouth is open. I'm gonna make, uh, Bob is staring right back. He's blinking a couple times, because he didn't expect someone else to be here. This place was pretty run down. I'm also just gonna make a, a history check, just to see if Bob can think to remember. That's a 20. That's a dirty 20. Yeah, uh... Rainbow hair, gray gray shirt gray clothing with rainbow edging you you would know that this is 
the same person that your sibling had yeah had that Gil talked to you about had described to him some time ago hadn't said a, a lot but but he did say that oh prismatone prismatone warlock and that description cleric, actually oh cleric sorry cleric actually cleric that's fine bob remembers things fable do not uh, but anyways, Bob blinks a couple times before finally recognition uh, comes on his face. And he then slowly points at Sammy and goes, Oh, you're, uh, hello, you're Sammy, right? Sammy's shading immediately goes purple and he spins around and yanks up his mask. And he's just like, who are you and how do you know me? Uh, I Oh. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you there. Um, uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm Bob, and uh, uh, I believe you know Gil. Uh, it, it, yeah. Uh, he slowly turns around, and his shading is edged with a little bit of pink, but it's still mainly a little bit purple because, oh God, he was not ex like, oh Prismatone. Oh, stars. Oh, rainbows. He was not expecting anybody to be here except for himself, because that's usually what happens when he finds a temple dedicated to his deity. No, and that's fair, but Bob just, but Bob just gives, I don't think, uh, actually, just gotta roll an insight for Bob as well, because I feel like making a couple rolls for this boy. Eleven! He doesn't quite get that, Sammy. <laughs> Maybe a bit. Bob just yeah, smiles, fr Bob just smiles. Smiles warmly and goes, "Yeah, uh, I know Gilly. He's he's my he's my little brother." Uh, oh, he has more family. That's that's nice. <laughs> he's kind of like his shading slowly kind of fades from purple to just slightly pink. Bob is Bob is oddly Bob is a bit reminded of one of his coworkers, but doesn't bring it up. <laughs> uh, Uh, yeah, sorry to, sorry if I, if, uh, if we, well, we surprised you. Rad, Rad went on in to go say, to, to go say hi. Uh, we, we came here a while ago and met, uh, Prismatone. You're, uh, Gil said you were a cleric of hers, I think? If I'm remembering that. And right. Sammy's shading immediately goes highlighter yellow. He just kind of, like, drops his, like, and all of that he's holding it, he just kind of, like, rushes over to you, you, Bob, and grabs your hands and just like, you, You've talked to her? Oh, uh, yeah, we, uh, we got, we got, uh, popped in on a rainy day and had a conversation. You're very young. Oh, yeah, yeah, it happens. I'm, I just, oh, you talked to her. I'm so glad she... She, you have no idea how lonely she is. I, I, it's, I'm glad it's not just me. I, I'm glad it's just not me. Well, obviously she's not completely lonely. She's got you. I, what were you doing here anyway? Were you uh, gardening? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's something I like to do when I have the time, which is a lot. Because she deserves to have. Things be taken care of, and no one's taken care of her places for 30 years, so I thought I'd pick up some of the slack while I can. Aw, that's Even sweet. if it's just... Even if it's just me. Oh, but that's so sweet. That's so sweet of you to do. I'm sure she's very happy that someone cares about her like that. I... Hmm. And Bob gives a think uh, thinky-thunk expression as he looks back towards the entrance. Then he looks back towards the the gardening stuff that you work on. I'm, I'm more for numbers and paper, but um, if you need any help, I'd be glad to lend a hand. Uh, Sammy's, <laughs> if Sammy's shading could like go any brighter, it would, and like you kind of start to see like a little like glimmering cloud of Ghiblian sparkles and a few. You think those are maybe like rainbow flowers? You're not entirely sure. Oh, uh, inside the mind of Bob. Oh, he's part Ghiblian. Okay, that's nice. He's <laughs> very excited about about this. 
I just take that as yeah, it's <laughs> just Sammy's just like he kind of like just pumps your hands up and down because I, I I believe he's still holding them. Yeah, he hasn't let go, and he just kind of like that would that would be so appreciative. Like, I, I, thank you. Like, no one's really ever thought to to and help. I thank you. Oh, you're you're welcome. I just thought, well, since I mean, since I I'll, I've got to be here a while, Rad Rad will probably be playing with with Crisbatone for a while if she's there. Um, yeah. Also, a uh, brief pause, because uh, mm -hmm. just for the audience, it, I feel like it needs to be to be uh, uh, to be said out loud. The fact that well, their heights, Bob is three yes. five, and Sammy, if I'm not Sammy mistaken, is six. six feet. Sammy is six feet. So Bob is just a little. He's probably bit... actually crouched down a little bit and like shake, 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 shake. <laughs> very excitedly, he's he's very happy right now, but he's also kind of crouched down a little bit because yes <laughs> yeah i just want to make sure that the audience all has this image in their head because i have this image in my head and it's a very cute image but we got it in our heads yes good moving yes on. yes <laughs> <laughs> so what like, i think bob's not really gonna do i think he's just gonna let sammy like shake his hands for a good bit and be polite but like i say uh, i think he's gonna wait for sammy to like take the lead because he he legit does not know anything about gardening. He's he is been in, valid. He's, he's been in an office. He's very valid. He's been in an office all his life. <laughs> and they don't really have a lot of plants mm -hmm. and no man, so. Mm -hmm. Hopefully with the lessons that are going on in no man's, though, that that might change a little. Oh, no. No man's now definitely has plants, but when Bob was there, it definitely did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, Sammy just kind of, like, he, he, like, tries to kind of calm himself down a little bit because he's just, he's so happy. Bob, you made him so happy. Aww. And, like, he just kind of, like, stands back up and is just like, okay, okay, uh, uh, no one's, no one's really actually ever offered to help before. Um, well, first of all, I need to, uh, there's, there's, like, a lot of, a lot of vines for some reason. I don't even know how... Uh, really weird animation choice i, I have to say that the, none of the rest of the park has vines but over here it's got a lots of vines a lots of ivy that really shouldn't be here because like there's there's it's gonna it's eventually gonna damage the the, the temple eventually and he, he just kind of starts rambling about all of the plants that should not really be here because they don't match the rest of the garden and the rest of the park <laughs> oh okay um I, I could I could definitely help with with that vines and uh and he he'll look I guess he'll look over to wherever I assume Sammy's gestured over to them. Yeah. Right. But... Okay. I could. Yeah, I can help. Yeah, like if if you could maybe get like the lower ones, it, it really hurts my knees to crouch down that low. I can I can get the stuff that's higher. <laughs> oh sure. Hmm. I think Bob will actually uh. Uh, we'll roll up his sleeves for this. Actually, no, he's got his cardigan on. He probably takes his cardigan off, puts it somewhere where it will not touch the ground, uh, then mm -hmm. roll up his sleeves, and then get ready for and then Why not? ready for work. Why not put it in his hammer space? Bob is Bob. I don't know. Bob didn't think about didn't, Bob didn't think about putting it in his hammer space. Usually, when you take off your cardigan, you hang it on. When you take off your jacket or cardigan, you hang it on something. Bob is valid. <laughs> Bob is a logical boy. Okay. Though what he's going to be doing next may not be logical. Because <laughs> oh, no. Bob, again, has never gardened before. So he doesn't, he, all he, his understanding is that he, that they need to get rid of these plant lives that's, that according to Sammy is going to cause damage. So what causes oh. the most damage to plants? Uh... Bob's, so Bob is going to cast his nifty little cantrip, Ray of Frost. Oh, oh, Ray of Frost is a lot more, lot better than what I was worried you were going to do. No, Bob's not going to do, listen, Bob is, Bob is aware that fire would do really well against plants. But the thing is, is that there is other plants around and Bob's not dumb enough to start a forest fire. 
He's already <laughs> he already oh. had an incident with okay. fire and, and concerns of his workplace. He's not gonna. <laughs> He's doing this the smart way. Bless. Thank you for having the brain cell. <laughs> Somewhat brain cells. Somewhat brain cells in this case. He's got the spirit. Anywho, I don't know what to roll to do Ray of Frost on. Uh, just honestly, just. Uh, Should I just roll to hit? Roll and... to hit. Roll to hit, and if it. Above, oh yeah. Twenty four. Yeah, that hits. That Great. hits. <laughs> That's a dirty twenty four. <laughs> yeah, that I, I would say that like hits like it like. Where are you aiming, Bob? Where are you aiming? Well, Sammy said to go for the go for the lower ones, but Bob figures because what's what's the range on Ray on Ray Frost? Give me a sec. It's sixty feet. Goes, I believe, into frigid beam of blue white light. Oh, I thought it was a cone. For... Oh, I'm thinking of cone of frost. I think. Anywho's, anywho's, I think he, what he's gonna do is literally as uh, he's gonna go for for around his feet, but then he's also since that was a 24, I think I can argue that he also shoots a bit higher and gets some of the higher ones as well to help Sammy out. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like Sammy just kind of like pauses and looks at Bob. And then back at the vines. Oh. And like, there's a visible, like, loading loading symbol. And he's like, that works? I guess? Bob, I mean... Bob dusts the snow off his hands. Oh, s sorry, was that was that too much? I uh, I, I figured it'd oh, be... Oh, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's just that I, I was just... I just didn't pull the vines off, I guess. But this works. It, it, and he reaches up and, like, just basically brushes the icy... Crumbly remains of the vines off from where yeah. Bob hit it, and he's like, "See, you did. You're doing great." Bob smiles. He at... gives you a thumbs up. Bob smiles at the praise. He's doing something right, and he's happy that he is. That he's being helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Sammy, like kind of reaches up and pulls some more vines down and stuff. That he just kind of like turns to Bob and is just like, "So if if." You want to actually like garden for your own stuff. Uh, you probably don't want to use a uh, ray of frost around the rest of your plants, just because you might actually end up killing those plants as well as the weeds. But since this is just vines and ivy on rock, it, sh it should be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? I completely just spaced out. <laughs> Um, Bob, um, Sammy turns to Bob and is just like, uh, if, if, if you're actually wanting to garden, you, you don't want to use that on your actual plants and the weeds, because then you're gonna get your plants hurt as well as the weeds that you're trying to get rid of. Oh. But since this is just stuff on rock and stuff and there's nothing, we, we wanted to get rid of all of it, it's, it's, it's fine, it's cool. Just, it's gardening tip. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll hammer space real quick. Doing a lot of rolls for Bob. Five. Uh, Bob pulls out a notepad with a pen, with a little cookie pen, and does, and just does, and writes that down. Oh, bless Bob. Sammy beams at Bob because just like, oh, he's actually taking notes. Oh, no one really usually does that. <laughs> gonna does he say that out loud or shall i roll <laughs> should i roll inside honestly honestly he probably does say that aloud just like kind of quietly to himself like just oh no taking that's nice no one usually does that <laughs> oh well I, I admit it i've heard that a couple times actually and to be fair where i'm from we don't actually have well we didn't have any gardening when i lived there so actually so kind of just tilts his head just like no gardening what <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I, see, I'm a nobody from No Man's End. We don't have much of anything that that people have here. Or we didn't. They're they're doing some changes now. Now to to have more uh to be more inclusive to more tune tunish ways. Hmm. I don't really know how to how to word that. Uh, Sammy's been clearing away some more of the vines as Bob is talking, and he just kind of pauses and looks at you, and then he's like, but 
you are somebody. Oh no! Well, now I am. Now I am. I but not all. Not always. It's a. It's a long. It's a long story. I'm not sure you want to hear. You want to hear it all. I. I to be honest, I'd actually like to hear more about you. Gil hasn't said uh, a whole lot about you, and I'll, I'll admit I'm a bit curious. Sammy turns pink again, and he just kind of, like, turns back to what he's doing. It's just like, if, if you want, can ask, I, I guess. Um, he is, his shading is very pink. <laughs> Well, from how he acts, he speaks fondly of you, but he says you're his nemesis. Admittedly, I've always kind of wondered what, what that if Gil. Hmm. What do Sammy you... just kind of sighs at that. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not fully familiar with the whole nemesis concept. I, I... It's. Are you I don't... enemies? Are you? friends uh, or are you and bob makes a face that means like are you more than friends uh Sammy's shading goes a little bit more pink and then he just like is like from what my uh guardians told me it's kind of a um and Sammy just kind of fidgets a little bit with some of the vines that he's pulled down, and it's just like, one tune, usually who's more lawful good will chase another tune, and sometimes the relationship uh, can can be more, um, uh, I, I don't really fully understand it myself, but, um, I, uh... And Sammy just kind of starts stuttering. <laughs> Shading is very pink. Sam Sammy, if you're not looking at Bob, you can hear that distinctive and little scribbling sounds. If Bob is once more <laughs> taking notes. And Sammy, Sammy like hears that, and his shading is basically very bright bubblegum pink at this point. Chases each other around. Huh. Okay. It's basically like a, like a detective chases a villain, and sometimes their chemistry can lead to more. I think, maybe. Um, I, that's what I'm hoping he wants from this. I I don't. Shall really I roll insight now? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll insight now because I feel like Bob's listened to enough to to try and gander something from this. That's a, that's a nat 20. That's a 26. <laughs> Bob sees all. Big brother mode has turned on. Bob, you realize very quickly that the shading means that this tune thinks that Gil is very pretty and is willing to do whatever Gil really wants in order to make sure that he can have some form of relationship and uh, attention on him and vice versa because he does really think that Gil is pretty and yes he's he's interested in Gil <laughs> the the look on Bob's face I don't know if Sammy's looking but basically Bob is an open book uh you see him you see the realization and you see it's the smile slowly spread on his face to something of just utter delight Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so sweet. Sammy's shading kind of just spreads to the entirety of his face. He's he's very pink now. <laughs> oh no, I I, I don't be I don't be too fair. Fair you. Obviously, I won't ask for it. Obviously, I won't ask for any details because uh, I'm told relationships can be private. Can be private, and you shouldn't uh, obviously uh, bother people too much about them about their own lives, but I, but as long as you two are happy, I'm very happy for you. For both of you. I, 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 um, I, 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 I mean, we haven't really 
that much, but he he, he does say I'm his nemesis, so I I I'm I'm hoping I'm reading everything right. And and with that nat twenty, you kind of you realize that this tune is a little insecure about his own position in Gil's life, a little. Ah, uh, insecurity. Like doesn't a thing Bob yeah. is very familiar with. I think Bob's gonna pause. I think because he has, I think, uh, between taking notes, he has still been helping with the with the quote unquote weeding. Uh, but mm -hmm. he will, but he will pause, and reach over and give Sammy's shoulder a very gentle pat. Well, if I don't know if this helps at all, and I know we have obviously we haven't talked that long, but I I think you're rather swell. I think Gil would be very is very lucky to have someone like you in his life. And, he sh and Bob uh, off to off to the side more to himself, or at least he better be. <laughs> I, I'm gonna roll a perception to see if Savvy heard that little aside. Would you say a sixteen? Yeah, sixteen. Would... Yeah, sixteen does it. Savvy like his shading first goes like kind of like a buttery yellow edge to pink and then immediately to confuse just like wait what <laughs> to gray <laughs> like he just kind of like was like wait what what did he say <laughs> he'd better be well if you know well well how well tell me how how long have you known gil um it's i met him one time, and he honestly kind of pissed me off a little. Yeah, um, he does that tried sometimes. To, he, we tried to sneak into the movie theater together, and then he used the term person on the guard when he didn't really need to, and that, you don't you don't take away somebody's will like that to just do something harmless. And then I punched him the next time because he did it again. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I'm. Well, I can understand not agreeing with his, with his tactics, but. Oh no, I can remember. I can remember one time when he used charm person, and. I think if he hadn't, I don't think I'd be here, to be perfectly honest with you. I can understand the Sorry. reservation, though. Taking taking control of someone's free will isn't. Particularly good. That's well, definitely not good, but Yeah, Sammy reaches over and kinda of rubs at his wrist and is just like if I'm glad he used it to save you, but the two times that I've known him to use it it, it wasn't a life or death situation, so in your case I I'm glad he used it to save you, but he did deserve that punch, I will say. <laughs> oh, I imagine there's a lot of things Gil, Gil deserves, and quite frankly, I'm not going to ask. But I will ask, if it did upset... Since it seems to be very upsetting to you, you did tell him it was upsetting to you, yes? Yeah, he didn't understand it at first, but I, I think he understands it now, because when... When I went to punch him the second time we met, I kind of went on a date. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but Bob Sammy uh, shading has gone back to pink. <laughs> Bob has gasped. Bob has like uh, turned himself uh, as he's sitting, and he's now sitting very politely in front of you, Sammy. And he, you have, if you didn't before, you absolutely have his full attention now. Sammy just kind of sits down and like his shading is pink and he just kind of sets the, the vines that he's been playing with to the side and he's just like, it, it we, we, Sandy took both of us to a, a, a heart themed carnival. It, it was, it was, it was a carnival dedicated to Crunkle. So, um, I'm pretty, pretty sure we went technically on a date and that's when he told me he, we were nemesis, nemesis, and Anyway, um, but, yeah, Nemesai, uh, and, uh, we were basically writing the Ferris wheel together alone, Sandy had run off for some reason, and then, uh, 
when I moved to punch him, he didn't really move to move out of the way like he would normally do. So I, I think on some level he understood that he'd messed up a little, because like, we had talked and stuff, but I, I promised a friend, March, that I would punch him when I saw him again. And I don't really back down on my promises. Well, that's good. And that's... Sammy is still very, very pink. Bob is just has that awe expression on him, though he chuckles a bit at the at the at the promising to punch Gil. It's like, boy, well, I'm glad I am glad you're the kind of person to keep your promises. Though it sounds though oh wait. Wait, you said Sandy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um it's how I re met Gil again. But he, he went through a read it? I I don't really understand exactly what happened, but I, I know it was bad enough to uh, he 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 started flickering and not being okay during that and we had to hold him together and Sammy of shading has gone to a very deep blue etched with purple as he's talking. Roll insight. Oh boy, Sammy, what's your insight? And there we go. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, again, Bob's a pretty open book, so it's not a very high roll, but, um... Well, one, the moment you say, uh, glitching, you see Bob's, uh, expression twitch a little bit, and then slowly start to drop. Uh, but then you describe hold holding Gil, and Bob doesn't look surprised. Mm. He just, he just nods and goes, Yeah... Yeah, I I know about that. Hmm. We we had well. I don't know if Gil told told you we had a slightly not great run in. With a slightly with a very not great person. Um, he but it's mentioned good that, that he pulled someone off. Yeah, yeah, he did. But um, I don't I don't want to worry you too much with it, but. It's good that you, it's, it is good that you, that you held him together. Uh, basically, from what I understand, it, it's, it's, um, something that's destabilizing him from reality, and the way to keep him from, well, from it getting worse is to hold him together, literally. Both, and with memories as well, if I, Prismatone, Described this much better than I, than I could. She she understands the effects. I think much more. Um, Sammy's like kind of rubbing at his wrist again, and he just kind of nods. He'll he's tucking that information away, and he's gonna he's gonna pester Prismatone a little bit about this because this is his nemesis that we're talking about. He's concerned yeah. because he didn't know that Prismatone knew. Uh. Can I can I roll inside to see if Bob could tell? Yes. Mm. Seventeen. Yeah. Uh you you notice all of that just like Sammy thinking and pocketing that away for Hey Mom, can we talk about this? <laughs> A little like but later since he's currently talking to you, Bob. Yeah. Uh, Bob wonders a bit to himself why Prismatone hasn't told Sammy about this, especially it's like she's isn't she a god? It's like isn't she a god? W and wouldn't she know who Sam who Sammy's associating with? If she already know she already knows about Kale. Bob's doing a thing. Bob himself is uh, doing a thinky think. Um, to be fair, I think it's more along the lines of Sammy hasn't really talked to Prismatone a lot about Gil yet. <laughs> Because ah. ah. it's it's still very recent. It just barely happened, basically, I feel. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Well, Bob still looks at Sammy for a bit. Uh, but then again, he will reach over and give Sammy's shoulder a pat. Let's, let's not worry about 
about it right now. There's not much that can be done about it right now, at least. So for now, let's focus on gardening. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's keep going. There's uh, still a lot that needs to be done. He kind of looks at the rest of the little area and there's like trees that are covered basically in vines. They don't look very good because trees aren't supposed to have vines. They kind of, so they don't let in a lot of light <laughs> to the plants. I think Bob is looking at this as well. I think after looking at all of it, he looks back at Sa at Sammy, holds up his hands, and you can see the snowflakes starting to appear on his hands like he's prepping Ray of Frost. But he's looking questioningly <laughs> at Sammy like, should I just do that this again? It worked the first time. Um, Sammy does a think, and then it is like, you know what, let's try it for, let's, he basically just like, gives you a thumbs up because kind of like a let's see how this goes bob just smiles uh stands up and let me just roll to hit again <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> that does not make it you I see that you see the glow of snow start to appear around his hands and bob shoots his hand forwards and all that comes out is just a little plop of snow it's like the size Sammy of it Sammy picks it up and then makes it into a little snowball and chucks it at one of the vines. Hmm. Maybe I should... Hold on, maybe I should... Leave. I should, like, roll the hit real quick. Yeah, <laughs> roll the hit with a snowball. Because that... <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm just going to label it as an unarmored strike. Just... Yes. Nine. It, it misses. It it like Not hits only... some of the leaves and like goes poof, and like bursts into like powdery snow because he didn't pack enough yeah. into it. Part of me wishes that I were Nat one because I had a really funny <laughs> bit if it were a Nat one. Would you like to? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Literally, if it were a nat one, all I imagine is like, not only does it not hit, but the tree catches the catches the snowball and throws it right back at Sammy. <laughs> Because, hey, they're in Toontown. <laughs> so the, some of the uh, trees are kind of tunes. Sammy kind of, like, turns to Bob, though, because I kind of gave him an idea, and he's just like, do you want to throw snowballs and see if we can knock all the vines off the trees? Uh, will that work? I don't know. It's it's Toontown. Let's try it. Uh, Okay. Uh, snowballs coming right up. I, uh, should I roll just to make snowballs? Uh, I think, like, it should just, like, since it's a cantrip and stuff, like, yeah. and, like, since you're basically aiming at the ground, I think it works. Yeah. Yeah, Bob just, uh, rubs his hands together a little bit, shoots them towards the ground, and poof! Ground is now covered in snow. Heck yeah. And then I think that we should just, like, flavor it as an unarmored strike, because we're... <laughs> Cool. I have no idea how to. Um. Honk, honk, honk. Someone in the park is like honking at someone else to get into the car so they can go home. Yeah. You know what? Like, how about just to make it fair, we just both do a D20? Yeah, alright. 13. 17. Sammy's like knocks one of the uh vines slightly but it doesn't fall off uh i think i think bob follows suit with a snowball and i'd say 17 does it oh definitely. oh hey that actually worked sammy's like put up his hands in the air and like does a little cheer just like hey <laughs> it worked <laughs> bob bob laughs a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Sammy holds another ball at the tree, and the tree, it almost like, it's like oh, no. it moves a little to the side, and then wobbles back. I got in that one. Like... So not only does Bob miss, but the tree c catches the snowball and checks it right back at Bob. And Bob gets <laughs> nailed in the face. 
with a snowball. <laughs> it probably falls back on the ground. Oh, oh, are you okay? Um, Sammy's just gonna bend over and pick Bob up to put him on his on his feet. I think I just got. I think I just got. Did a tree just throw a snowball at me? Oh yeah, I I. That sometimes happens. You 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 hit a thing, and if it's bendy enough, then then it throws it right back. It's, it's part of the gag, I think. Hmm. Bob frowns a little bit at that. <laughs> Bob uh, leans down to pick up another snowball, throws it, and the tree <laughs> literally curves around it. And you get the impression that the that the tree is blowing raspberries at both of you. Maybe <laughs> just kind of pulls down his lid and blows a raspberry right back. <laughs> I think Bob just puts his hands on his hips like, Humph, that's not very polite. Sammy gets another 13, and, like, it manages to nudge one of the vines a little bit closer to the edge. Let's see, I'm trying to think of what I can do. Nah, that would be too- that's too excessive. I won't do that. D20 again. Nat 20! Ha <laughs> Nat 20! I feel like it hits the, like, perfect spot, and then, like, all of the vines just go thump onto the ground in a flurry of ice and <laughs> snow. Bob raises his hands in the air and goes, Woo! Take that! <laughs> Sammy, like, laughs and then, like, claps his hands together. Just, like, he is absolutely delighted that that worked. <laughs> Bob is equally delighted, and he feels like he's gotten proper revenge against this tree for, for chucking a snowball in his face. <laughs> And, like, if, if Bob looks, uh, he would see Sammy's shading has gone, like, very highlighter yellow again. Oh, that's just, that's just cute. Sammy's enjoying himself very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodness, I... Goodness, I, I feel almost kind of bad that I haven't gotten to meet you sooner. You're very nice, Sammy. Oh, you're nice, too. I... I'm glad we met now, though, instead of later. Um, and Sammy kind of reaches up and rubs at his head, which is still unhooded. <laughs> Sammy's got got all the the rainbow hair. All the rainbow hair for on display. I have a question because I have a thought in my head. Uh, in what state mm -hmm. is is said hair? There are currently. Probably several leaves and twigs, and probably a few clumps of snow by now, just because of the gag. <laughs> alright, alright. I think Bob sees this and chuckles a little bit, and then he'll gesture to Sammy to... to... Here, I'm, I'm, I'm too short. Could you sit down a moment? Uh, oh, okay. Um, Sammy does so. His shading kind of shifts from yellow to a gray. <laughs> Bob will actually move uh, uh, behind Sammy... And start just very gently and carefully uh, getting all the leaves, uh, dirt, and snow out of Sammy's hair. Mm hmm. One second, just gotta throw the thing. Oh no. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Sammy just kind of leans into your touch and he looks very drowsy. <laughs> Aww. I don't think Bob realizes it's because he's behind Sammy, but he just could. He's just he, dad mode has been activated, so he's just gent, so he's just gently helping Sammy, uh, clean it, clean his hair. Hmm, I don't think I have. Oh goodness, I don't I don't have hair, so I never carry a brush on me, brush on me. So uh, hope hopefully you don't have any bad knots in here. I don't. I didn't grow up with hair. It's kind of been the past few years that it's started growing. Prismatone gave it to me. Oh, She's it's... very nice. She is She is quite nice. I was, I was pleasantly surprised by when I met her. Mm-hmm. She... I was an egg when I met her. Very bald. But I'm no longer an egg. I have hair. Pretty hair like hers. Yes. It's very pretty. It is very... <laughs> It is very pretty. Do you, um, 
This may be an odd. I don't have hair myself. Do you style yours at all? Nope. I usually keep it in my hood. Safer that way. Safer? I suppose mm -hmm. it helps keep it out of the way. No, no. It's not that kind of safe. It's you. If I keep it up, if I keep my mask up, they won't find me. And he's, his head's bobbing a little. Uh, Bob does a, uh, Bob's hands pause at that, but then uh, a few moments later they continue, uh, they continue working. Oh, well, that's... You're very nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's kind of, it's kind of sad, though, that you have to hide away such pretty hair. Would you mind yeah, if I tried I braiding it? Braiding would be nice. I've never really... I, my hands don't know how to braid. I've, I've seen how, bra how braiding is done. I haven't really done it myself. I've helped... I've helped Sandy, uh... I've helped Sandy brush uh, her hair, but I haven't really braided it. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna roll just hammer space real quick. Because I know Bob has... Yep, that's a two. That's enough. Uh, Bob pulls out uh, a couple rubber bands from his... Hammer space, puts them on his wrists, and what should I roll in terms of braiding hair? Just straight intelligence? I have that or dex, I think. Yeah, that whichever, or... whichever way would work better. I'm gonna make it dexterity because I know that Bob gets it intelligently, but I don't know. But his hands aren't familiar with the mm -hmm. movement, so I think it's more dexterity. Yeah. So it's gonna be d20 plus one. It's an eleven. Well, it's not like it's not below average, so I feel like it's it's a very messy braid, but it's it's still a braid. Yeah, I I think though eleven Bob is not satisfied with. I think he looks at it for a few minutes and goes, <laughs> "No, maybe I should do this again, again." And he'll uh, take it out and then and then have another and then do another shot. Let's try this again. Nineteen. That's much better. Bob learns from his mistakes. Uh, <laughs> so the second braid looks much nicer. Mm hmm huh. And Sammy is still, like, he's basically leaning on you right now, Bob, but he's not fallen asleep quite yet. He's just very much like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Bob, gets the, God, Bob gets the impression that, that, that he doesn't have, that this is, he's not sure if this happens a lot for, for Sammy. Yeah, no, this does not happen very often, but you've established a few, very few cute key things. Prismatone. You know about Prismatone. Yep. And you've helped Sammy, and yeah. <laughs> I think Bob, uh, since dad mode is still kind of activated, Bob, uh, while the braid is done, Bob still uh, keeps a hand on Sammy's head and just gently pets his hair. Because he assumes, because mm -hmm. uh, from what experience he's gained, he's uh, gained from from learning to raise Rad. Uh, even whether they have hair or not, uh, kids like it when you pet their head. Mm hmm. Yep. It... Congratulations, Bob. You have a very limp tune on your hands, just napping in the sun, almost not actually asleep, but basically. <laughs> I think Bob doesn't say anything. I think he just lets... I think he just thinks that this is very cute and he just lets Sammy uh, be at peace for a bit. But in his mind, he's definitely like, oh, I am absolutely asking Gil, Gil more about Sammy and that, day, and, and, and that date that they had. He absolutely wants... Like, like, Bob wants to be polite and not, and not pester, but at the same time, he wants, he wants more <laughs> details. He wants the deeds. He wants the deeds. <laughs> and he might talk to Prisma. And he might also just talk to Prismatone some more as well. Actually, mm -hmm. feels like Pris actually it feels like Prismatone is the person he could gossip about this with. <laughs> which is yes. which is a very possible thing. He just might. 
Bubs learned to do a lot of things, and gossiping is one of them. So, <laughs> tries not to talk about people behind their back, but if it's all good things, he's lenient. <laughs> oh, Bob, I love you. I love you so much. I love Sammy. I love the fact that these two just met. <laughs> they just hit it off. <laughs> They hit it off so well, and then Bob found Sammy's off switch. Yep. I wanna... God. I'm trying to think of, like, what happens next after this. Because I don't think Bob's gonna want to mm -hmm. wake Sammy up. Like, this boy looks too peaceful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, his shading's a very nice golden yellow and yep. stuff. And he's just, like, flump. Yeah, and frankly, and actually, you know, I'm gonna make another roll real quick, just... Okay, that was in, that was a insight sixteen. Yeah, Bob get, and and judging from all the things that Sammy has, uh, has uh, told him, what Bob has gleaned from their conversation is that, is that oh yes, this is another, another another, kid, kid teen, young adult who's probably been through the ringer, as well as the rest yep. as well as the rest is Bob's family. So Bob's just like you know what, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna let him just rest. Because he he probably needs just a peaceful, peaceful time. I will say yes, yes he does. This is like the best possible outcome for Sammy. I will say. This came. This went very well. I think. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of just want to end it here and just let them have just a nice afternoon so in the sun. I, and maybe yeah, Rad comes I out later. Mm -hmm. And like Rad is loud, and that probably wakes Sammy up eventually. Mm -hmm. And just like very sleepy, blink, blink, and then just like turn to Bob and just goes like, "Matt, you're Rad." He's still very sleepy. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Uh, that you're Rad. Sorry, my voice went a little higher than I meant to. <laughs> But oh, yeah, he's but... very sleepily, he said, is that your rad? <laughs> Just kind of sleepily point. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, Bob's actually going to look at the time. Is oh, oh, wow, actually, a lot more time went by than I thought. Uh, I probably have to get to be heading back soon. We just came over to, to say hi to Prismatone. Or at least Rad wanted to come say hi to Prismatone. I'm still not fully com- I'll be honest, I'm still not fully comfortable around gods. Prismatone's very nice. But there, but- uh, yeah. You can roll inside if you want on that, but Bob's not going to clarify. All right. That is a plus one. Seven. Sammy just kind of nods and just like, yeah, Bob's can be pretty in 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 intimidating. But Prismatone's good. She helped me a lot. Yes. <laughs> and he just kind of nods. He's still very sleepy, but he kind of just sits up and is just like, okay. Hmm. What should I do? Maybe Prismatone's still around, because, like, he's just kind of, like, thinking, probably half aloud at this point, and just, like, because he knows that Bob has to go and stuff, so he's just trying to think of yeah. what he should do next. <laughs> I think he's going to make sure that's, that Sammy's able to sit up straight before he will sit up himself and dust off his... And stuff his pants, and then also look to see where he hung his cardigan up. Ah, there it is. Uh, and he, and as he's going to go grab that and put it back on, well, well, I'll, I'll likely be back, back around here again, uh, because Rad likes to say hi, hi to Prison Tone. But if you're still gonna be here garden, gardening, I can always come, uh, help out again if you don't mind. Uh, Sammy shading is like it was like a slight like light yellow, just kind of ambiently, and like it brightens back to that highlighter yellow. And he just kind of beams at you, Bob, and he's just like, "Thanks, I I really appreciate that." And then he yawns because he's still sleepy. <laughs> maybe maybe don't fall maybe don't fall asleep out out here though. Maybe. Maybe go sleep inside uh, where Prismatone can keep an eye on you. Yeah, yeah, she gives really nice hugs. I, yeah, she actually fell asleep on her lap once. That was cute. Wait, you know Chifley as well? How many people do we both know? 
Sammy kind of pauses and blinks and then just like, hey, you know Jeffrey as well? I, I, yeah. I met him because of... I met him because his clothes were a packing disaster, and then I took him back to my apartment so I could manage to fix his clothes, because don't, you don't really want to take off your shirt in the middle of the street just to fix your clothes. Oh, no, so, definitely, oh, definitely yeah. not. Oh, I am, although, yeah, his clothes were atrocious when I met him. Though I am glad he, um, though I am glad he, he ran into you. You, uh, inside the mind of Bob, uh, Sammy Gill. Sammy Chifley? Sammy Chifley and Gil? I don't know, that's where Bob- but Bob's not gonna- Bob, that's where Bob's mind is. He'll- he'll ask Gil- he'll ask Gil, uh, about- he'll ask Gil more about that later, and maybe if he sees Chifley, he'll also ask. Because apparently a lot of the people he knows all know each other. Mm -hmm. How is it that the world manages to be very big and very small at the same time? Huh. Well, anyways, uh, you you go ahead and and head inside, head inside and get more sleep. And uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna roll hammer space real quick. For two things. That's one. It's two. Okay. Uh, the first thing Bob pulls out is a is a little business card. Uh, if you ever need if you ever need any help help uh just uh here is my here's my work number. It's the only phone number I have at the moment, so. Sammy takes it and then blinks and then goes, wait, that number is familiar. And then he's going to roll hammer space. <laughs> and he pulls out the engineer's phone number, uh, the business card, the engineer off screen. Same area Sammy. code. Same area code. <laughs> and Sammy's just like, wait. Huh? Uh, Bob looks over and sees that it's the engineer. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have the engineers. Actually, that's not too surprising. It seems like he knows a lot of people. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he's my... But yeah, he's my boss. He seems to get into a lot of trouble. Uh... Yep. I had yes, to pick and rescue him from a puppet. I had to re... I had... Puppet? Oh my, that doesn't sound... Wasn't I had to rescue him from assassins, clown assassins. Yeah, Larry was right. What is it with cl with clowns? I don't know. To be quite, I actually, I, and I say that quite honestly. I, I honestly don't know, but yeah, it seems whenever people do meet him, it's it's to save him from getting into trouble. But if but if he gave you gave you a number, maybe I'll be seeing you around the studio. I'm usually in the yeah, accounting um, office. I'm usually in the accounting office, though. I don't. I usually and I usually stay in the office, to be honest. Explosions and whatnot. Oh well. I have actually visited the Dota Studios before. Uh, my friend Merch works there. Uh, he showed me around when we met. It was it was really cool. Oh, Merch is uh, but, very sweet. But yeah, next time you're there, just pop by and say hello. Yeah, yeah, I will. I. And Sammy just kind of nods very cheerfully, and, and, and then I can say I can say hello to Mr. Tobias too. He he works there too. Oh, he, he ch did you did you did you know that he changed his color like I do? I I did actually, and inside the mind bot, that's actually who you were reminding me of for a little bit. <laughs> but I think Sammy just kind of like he's just like. Huh. I, I reminded you of him? Oh, that's, that's, oh, oh. You know, he, he like really, really is like, you don't expect it of Mr. Tobias, but Mr. Tob Mix Tobias, like, they, he like was able to like really whittle down the puppet's HP, like, <laughs> oh, without him, I don't, like, he like put so much effort into like just insulting him. He like, it was great. I I wish I could have punched the puppet in the face. But... <laughs> On one hand, Mira. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, out of character, just out of character moment for people who don't know. Uh, Mira's uh, Sammy is referring to uh, to that's a rap game, which was an <laughs> animus game done by Artists of Obsessions, where I, yes. I where I played the 
the villain character, Mr. M, who is said puppet who got his butt kicked. So this, to me, out of character, is hilarious to hear. But this to Bob, to Bo as far as Bob Bob knows, when he hears about Tobias, he just th all he has to go on is like the brief interactions he's had with Color Boy at work. But also just, he's mostly heard about Tobias through stories from, from Marcel, who is Tobias's boyfriend. So a lot of it's just a lot of gushy stuff. So hearing that Tobias can be actually quite rude is, is news to Bob. <laughs> I will apologize. I got into the space of Sabby a little too much to warn for spoilers. No, it's okay. I'm happy. Yeah, sorry, there's a bit, tiny bit of spoilers here, apologies, but I'm having, I'm living um. right now. <laughs> but yeah, like, Sam is just like, he's still very sleepy, so his filter is gone. <laughs> and I think, I think Bob is aware of that happening, so I think what Bob's gonna do is, uh, is just very gently start guiding Sammy to, <laughs> to stand up and head towards Prismatone's, uh, temple. Just like, okay, you're <laughs> sleepy, it's nap- I think it's nap time. Uh, <laughs> Sammy just kind of sleepily nods and heads inside, waving Bob and Rad goodbye. Bob waves back and hopes Sammy has a good- Oh wait! Uh, the other thing Bob pulled out of his hammer space, uh, Bob runs up to him and hands it to Sammy, it's a piece of candy! Boy, if you thought Sammy's shading was highlighter yellow, it 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 it's it's somehow it's a, increased and in... it's the grandma candy. <laughs> Sammy doesn't care; it's candy. <laughs> yeah, Bob gives that to Sammy real, uh, real quick. Uh, I don't really have food on on me otherwise, but ne but next time I'll bring I'll bring a picnic. Anyways, uh, oh, bye. Wait. You have a good one. Wait. You you too. Wow, a picnic. Are you haven't really had a picnic in a long time. That would be great, Bob. Thank you. Bob hears Sammy say that, and determination has has sprouted on this little nobody, now somebody's face. Oh, Sammy, you're gonna get a picnic. You're gonna, like, Bob, Bob has only recently discovered the joys of picnics, and oh, he, you are gonna have the joy of picnics, Sammy. Good. Sammy needs the joy of picnics. He and he shall. <laughs> and I, think, I think that's a good. I think that's a good place to end it. I think so. I think so. That was very cute. That was really cute. Yes. I do love <laughs> how before this, I feel like I need the record. I need this to be recorded for mm -hmm. posterity. But like, uh, mm -hmm. like people were telling me before that you were gonna turn this you're gonna turn this angsty really badly but this actually became very cute <sighs> this is very cute and i think bob bob is definitely going to be asking questions about sammy later because because excuse me this lovely gentleman you have not told me enough about <sighs> i had to happen i had to happen to run into him yeah, Kaylee, uh, Bob's gonna be prepare for the dad mode, brother mode questions coming in. Grill of a lifetime. Yep, yep. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I think I'm gonna end the, rec the recording here. All right, thanks for listening, everyone. Thank Bye. You. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye.